Hello everyone, my name is Chrissy and welcome to my channel, The Return Cart. So I decided to uh, make this video my very first haul video. Um, I'm probably not going to do these too often. I'm, I'm trying my best to, I'm trying my best not to buy too many books and to keep adding to my TBR pile. I'm a little bit of a book shopping fiend <laughs> um, and I'm trying not to be as much. Um, my family, if they could hear me now, would probably be laughing very hard, but um, I'm going to not do these videos very often. Um, I do have one haul uh, that I did this past Saturday, so on November 24th, uh, where I bought five books. Um, and then I have uh, three other titles, uh, two that I got in one shopping trip, and then um, one that I actually won in the giveaway. So I'm going to be covering all those today. Speaking of November 24th, that was Small Business Saturday. So what ended up happening, and I realized that I'm kind of just giving an excuse to make myself feel better, but I had uh, store credit, so I thought, why not use it on Small Business Saturday? So the very first book that I picked up is um, The Lost Fleet Dauntless by Jack Campbell. Um, this is a series of like seven or eight books. I don't even know how many books it is. And I don't know why I did that to myself. But um, apparently there's this war that's been going on for centuries. Um, there's a captain uh, named John Blackjack Geary who had been fighting in the war years ago. Um, when it seemed like it was his last stand it, or whatever the case may be, it was like a battle that was going to be his fighting force kind of thing. He um, disappeared. They thought he was dead from it, uh, but he comes back uh, in the middle of this war and he thinks he knows how to end it. So that's what this book's about. It's, it's pretty... Um, small so I think all the books are around this size. I don't think it'll be very hard to get through quickly. We're gonna hope. The next book that I got is The High Ground by Melinda Snodgrass. So this is a book um, about imperial times in a sci-fi world uh, where it's very mil militaristic, um, very war I guess driven. Um, the Emperor's Daughter Mercedes goes to what's called the high ground, which is a type of military academy. And um, it's pretty much about her journey through there. She's the first woman ever to get admitted into the academy. There's also a guy named Thracius. Thracius? He's from a more impoverished uh, family. So his idea is just to really get in and try and become captain at some point in time. Um, I'm very interested in this. I've heard good things. I've read a few reviews and it looks like it's going to be really good. So I can't wait to read that one. Then um, an author who I've known about for a while, but I hadn't read her books until recently. And that is Connie Willis. And this one is To Say Nothing, to, to say nothing of the Dog. Um, and this is about a time traveler named Ned Henry. Uh, he's doing a restoration project, I guess, um, in the 1940s, or they're looking for a specific item in the 1940s. There's another time traveler named Verity. She messes some stuff up, and I guess he has to help her out. So uh, this is a th fairly thick, thick boy. Almost 500 pages, but I've heard really good things about it. Uh, the Doomsday Book, which Honey Willis also wrote, which I have, I haven't read. Uh, it's supposed to have come before this, uh, but this is the second book in that series. So we'll see how it goes. I've also read good things. I've also read not great things about it either. But Connie Willis is a fantastic author, so I'm looking forward to seeing where this book goes. So the fourth book that I got from the Saturday, Small Business Saturday book haul is The Dinosaur Lords by Victor Milan. Uh, when this book first came out in about 2014, 2015, I was really interested in it. I didn't get it at the time because uh, I was knee deep in other series. series uh, I was knee deep in other books and didn't really have time for this one, especially since I wanted to buy it new. Um, but we're going to see how this goes. It's pretty much just how they phrase it is that it's Game of Thrones mixed in with dinosaurs. We'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit worried though, because I've been looking on Goodreads and I haven't seen the best reviews for this book. It has an under four star rating on average. Um, but 
I'm going to try not to to lend that into my expectations while reading this and just enjoy the fact that knights are riding dinosaurs. The last book that I got from um, the Small Business Saturday book haul is Steel by Carrie Vaughn. Now, I don't read... Uh, actually, I have been reading a lot more young adult books recently, which have been great because I've been having a lot of cool stories. So this one is um, about a gal who's in a modern time. I don't know. Okay, so this book was written in 2011. So modern times, as far as 2011 goes, a gal gets transferred back into the past. I guess into the past. I don't know if it's the past or a whole different world, but she gets uh, thrown back in with pirates. Uh, I'm guessing a whole different world because she also learns about dark magic. Not saying that dark magic isn't possible in this world, just, I'm moving on. Anyway, uh, so that's Steel. I'm really hoping that this turns out to be um, a fantastic read because I've really been looking forward to a pirate book with a gal at the centerpiece of it all. All right, so these two books I actually got because I got a um, gift card to Barnes & Noble. So um, I actually live from, like two blocks away from Barnes & Noble's. I could walk there in 10 minutes. That's how dangerous this is. Uh, but the first book that I got from there is uh, Kings of the Wild by Nick Imes. Uh, I've actually been hearing more about his book Bloody Rose than I have about Kings of the Wild. But um, I, I like to read series in order and I've been told that you can actually read uh, Bloody Rose without having re read King of the Wild, Kings of the Wild. Uh, but I wanted to give this a read first. It's about these groups, of, uh, this group of mercenaries who um, were once very heroic. Or it says heroic. No, it doesn't. It says the best, and most feared, and also heroic. Who knows if they were heroic or not? I, I'm guessing they were not. But um, they were the best of the best. Uh, they were did a whole bunch of stuff that was awesome. Then they became old, and I'm guessing have hurt knees, and, you know, hernias things like that. Uh, so they became old uh, and kind of retired-ish, and I guess a new um, mission comes along and they take that on. So I'm, I've heard this is really funny, which I'm really hoping because it sounds hilarious and it looks like it's going to be a really fantastic read. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. The next one is um, Escapeology by Ren Worm? 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 Uh, but Escapeology looks like it's going to be about being into kind of a virtual system. There's a guy named Shock Pao who um, is a haunt, and I don't know what a haunt is, but it sounds like they're kind of like a hacker into these kind of systems. I don't really know. I, I'm going to admit I got this because of the cover. Don't judge me. But... Uh, I haven't really read much about it. Uh, I haven't really seen it around. But it looks like it'll be a fun read, I'm hoping. So the last book is one that I won in a giveaway um, on Twitter. And it looked really cute. Um, it looked like a really fun tale. I was reading uh, Into the Drowning Deep when I saw this, and it was about mermaids. Only it's not about the killer mermaids that are in Into the Drowning Deep. Uh, but it's The Oyster Thief by um, Sonia Faruqi. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. But um, apparently it's about a guy who gets turned into a mermaid. Yeah, he gets turned into a merman. A merman. Uh, and his name is Izar and Coraline is um, the main chica who is a mermaid. And it's supposed to be, I guess, a love story. So we're going to see how that goes. I've been, hope I've been trying to find really cute romance stories lately and I hope this isn't just heartbreak after heartbreak. So that's my haul. If you have read any of these books and want to tell me about it, please uh, note that in the comments below. I would love to have a discussion about all of this. Um, I did put all of these books into my TBR jar, so I'm not planning, I shouldn't say I'm not planning to read these soon. Those books probably more apt to them than anything else. But I, I did put all these in my TBR jar, which is this little jar it has all the uh pieces of paper that has all these pieces of paper have my book titles on it i need to get it together as you can see i kind of have a slight problem 
So 2019 is going to be my year of trying to get this down and trying to read the books that I have. Uh, so that's my video. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. If you like seeing this lovely visage, please click that subscribe button. Thanks and hope you get lost in a book.